Get that out of the way. Whole bunch of coils, pre-made. Catch my shavings. I right, thank you. Apparently I have some smudge on my screen here. That'll drive me nuts. There we go. Day three of the project that was supposed to take one. <laughs> Always seems to work out that way. Unlikely, just because the glove is going to be pretty hard to sell somebody because it's not going to fit anyone but me. Rings I could sell, bracelets, necklaces. Glove, not so much. could do is keep making these different ring sizes different colors so I have one for each each of my suits of course I would obviously need a second one of each color could do rainbow black and white etc etc next thing I'll probably do is do some other gloves but different chainmail patterns see how it looks it's gonna be hard to top before one though Well, the problem with the glove size, I'm going to tell you it's got to fit exactly. With these, not so much. you got a one ring leeway either way. But like the ones I like, my 3mm ones, it's got a contour <laughs> perfectly. So this row has to be this correct. This one has to be 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 correct. I mean, theoretically, I could do it, but I would need a whole lot of measurements from, from whoever's buying them. And I mean exact. Because the only leeway you get is one ring's length. Gold ones, though, you got a significantly larger threshold for mistakes. I am still considering the chainmail hoodie idea, though. <sighs> At least a few hours a night. Uh, maybe 20 hours a week. Not all of it live. Sometimes I just want to craft while watching some TV. Not making the mistake of last time. Yeah, 20 hours ain't so bad. Now, when you consider I also work 40 to 60 hours a week. <laughs> well, welcome back. We did not finish because I fucked up. Yeah, I said it. When I measured it the first day to figure out how long and how tall we had to go, I uh, did not account for the compression factor and the fact that it shrinks once I put all the pieces in. So we got to fill in this cube now. 
we are making a glove out of this nice little gold pattern. But I have to finish the sheet first. And put the glove back on. It'll make it easier for you all to understand. All right, this is what we're doing, just with much bigger rings to make it quicker. And because they're expensive. <laughs> oh, and as always, I should point out that this isn't just regular wire. This is paper clips. I did end up fixing it. I still don't know why it was not working properly, but I fixed it. It's around here somewhere in my, in my pile. Uh, I got so much stuff on this table. I'm only going to be here for about an hour tonight, and I gotta go do some dinner cooking. Then I'll be back on. Unless I, by some miracle, finish in an hour, but I find that unlucky. Unlikely. Oh my god, if I had a four loco. Original formula, not the current formula. And I could also two tone this. I could put some. Who do you vote? I vote on that one guy whose business it isn't yours of. No, I don't uh, care who you vote for. I don't care what your religion is. I don't care what your orientation is. I don't discuss politics, religion, yada, yada, yada. Good vibes here, people. Not here to start confrontations. Exactly. My day's not going too bad. I had a minor DoorDash disagreement. Had to do some yelling at them. Ordered some food around 11. 12.30 rolls around. They uh, canceled the order for technical difficulties. So I ordered from a different restaurant. Waited another couple hours. And then they canceled that one for technical difficulties. <laughs> Oh, she's hanging in there. We don't have really any more details than that, mainly because uh, there's nothing they can do, so we haven't done any more scans or tests or anything. So we don't want to know. No point in knowing if we can't do anything. We are making this glove out of gold paper clips with much bigger rings. First, I gotta cut the rings. Pick up where I left off. I made uh, 40 of these coils from the paper clips earlier. Saved y'all some time not having to watch me do that. Well, it's like they tell you, dogs got cancer, dogs don't die, but. Shoot, what are we, like four or five months later and still not really showing too many symptoms here? A little slower than she used to be, but she's 14. But yeah, I always go and you end up dropping five grand just for them to tell you they can't do anything. <laughs> that was a good day. Almost ready. We are not slowing down tonight. Making this glove 
out of these paper clips. Much bigger rings to save time. Chain mail out of paper clips. Gotta fill in my square here in this little missing piece, and then we will have a glove. I gotta go down a couple rows, too. Hopefully the measurements were right this time. I'm not looking for this to be a part four. Especially when you consider the fact that this is only <laughs> this is only one glove. It's always four. It's always. <laughs> Right, Grim knows me better than anyone. There's always four parts. I'm making a glove out of gold paper clips. I crap, paper clip armor, man. <laughs> and it's crazy too, because when I started doing chainmail. It had nothing to do with the sake of doing chain mail. I just needed a little tiny piece of chain mail for a little piece of art. It was just an additional little item, but kept going. Four coils to go. Bad cut. 524. That might be a record for my at one time viewers. Keep tapping that screen. Get them likes. Let's get this thing up to a thousand. Let's really break the record. It's kind of cool because it is cool, man. It's chainmail armor made out of paper clips. Oh, all right. Where is Steve? I gotta go get my other ones. I got a bunch more figurines in the basement. I just keep forgetting to drag them up here. I do not. I will probably need to go over this a few times, but uh, gloves don't really get made too well for other people because you have to fit it to the ring. So you'd have to get every single one of these lines would have to be measured perfectly on your hand. It's, it's form-fitting. It's how it doesn't fall off, stays flexible. A lot. A lot. Alright, here's Steve by request. We're going to bring Steve out. He always makes an appearance at least once. Steve is also paper clips. He's messing up my ring pile. Steve is the little dragon, by the way. Bob is the big one. I got the camera a little higher today. Might be able to uh, get some more of Bob in the uh, film. All right, Bobby. There's the big one. His head, at least. All paper clips. Bob is kind of my, like, fallback project when I have nothing else going on. I've been working on him for about five years. All right. Got all my rings. We are not dilly-dallying tonight. Like I said, I still got to go cook dinner, but then I'll be back. Listen to the man. Grow together. Or a woman. Can't quite tell from the little picture. Alright, so I measured this earlier. I'm going to need 12, 12, 12, 12. And 12. And as always, our magical jump ring opener and closer. Pivotal tool.
you're looking for a tutorial on exactly how I'm making what I'm making, uh, last video I posted should be a good one, and it uses shower curtain rings, so much bigger rings, easier to see to learn. Hi, Becky. We are making this glove out of these paper clips. I'm gonna turn them into chainmail. I don't know, I've never been stabbed. Everybody keeps asking me that, but I'm just not that brave. Now, this 3 millimeter stuff is pretty thick. I think if I put that on a watermelon, it would take some damage. I do make jewelry. Nothing too fancy. I don't sell it. But I am thinking about it. Got a necklace right here. Or a bracelet. Bunch of rings floating around. So this is a jump ring opener, jump ring closer. It works like a second set of pliers. Shove your ring through the little slot and turn it. It works great for uh, weak metals, like aluminum is good for it. This is 14 gauge steel, however, so it's gonna wear your hand out. Not against a bullet. <laughs> Do not want to be wearing chainmail against a bullet. <laughs> we were still fighting with uh, swords and daggers, maybe. Uh huh. See, I used to have music in my lives, and then TikTok took a bunch of mine, my, my lives uh, for copyright problems. <laughs> now, if you're a big name artist, you can probably get away with that, but not me. Any superpower. Let's let's keep the, the simple ones out. Flight is horrible because unless you've got super strength to go with it, you got to smash into a building and die. I don't know. I think healing factor, Wolverine's healing factor is pretty good. Strength's not bad either. But the healing factor, you get longer life. He's just a dragon with a little bit of chainmail in his chest to keep him, give him a little bit of scales. lift this just so I can work with it. It's actually harder to work with it on the table. Really wish I had measured this properly the first night. So we're doing is basically making threads like on a piece of fabric here. Yes. Yeah, it wasn't pretty last time. I, after five hours of doing this and uh, thinking I was done, only to find out that I mismeasured because I didn't account for the chainmail compression. That was not good. That kind of killed my spirit that night. I, I called a night after that. But I've made 200 more rings since then, so... We should be good. And I am measuring every clip today. <laughs> I am making sure I don't make that mistake again.
Yeah, but like I said, if you're flying and you don't have super strength, what happens when you crash into a building? You're going to go splat. A bird hits you at 200 miles an hour. It ain't going to be pretty. Teleportation, also messy. Pop up inside of a solid object or not account for the fact that the earth is moving very, very fast. You're in some trouble. question do we want to ask Becky, y'all? She wants a question. Let's start with the basics. What city in? This ability could be uh, dangerous. It is a ring designed specifically for this craft. You can pick them up for about three, four bucks. Amazon's got them. They're not expensive. Just don't buy the plastic ones. Plastic ones will break pretty much instantly if you're making anything but aluminum. With that being said, if any of you guys are thinking about going online and buying some pre-made aluminum uh, ring chain mail, don't do it. It's crap. I'm just, I am just—I don't care what the artist is. It could be beautiful, but it's going to fall apart. Yes, we have a lot of videos showing how to make the rings out of paper clips. I can do one here for you in just a second. Let me finish up with this little set of 12. We are making this glove with larger rings out of these paper clips. Uh, this one is about five hours of work. Majority of the work goes into making the actual rings. The crafting of them, not that long. Bad hook. Missing your comments. Concentrating here. Probably Bob. I'm going to do this one more time for those of you who have not been here that long. This is Steve. He's the little dragon. And this is Bob's head. There's his mouth. So you can imagine the rest of him. See, I'm about to bring down my whole camera. Definitely not bulletproof. They are steel, but not bulletproof. Nobody go try to stop a bullet with paperclip chainmail. Any kind of chainmail for that matter. It ain't stopping a bullet. I don't care if it was titanium. All right, as promised. How to make the rings. Get yourself a paper clip. Or any kind of wire. Oops. Wrong box. I think you'll, you'll eventually learn that about me. I love my containers. I got a million of them. Okay, you're going to need a metal rod. For those of you saying, where do I get a metal rod? Where do I get a metal rod? Uh, you can actually use these. They're lovely. And these are straight pins from curtain section of the hardware store. You can pick up a pack of about 12 of them for a couple bucks. These are longer, so I'm using this one. Open the paper clip. Uh, Bob's been an ongoing project for about five years. I work on big old Bob whenever I've got no other projects going on. Twist, twist, twist. Normally, I would compress that last little bit. Nah, let's just go ahead and do it. Get you about one extra ring out of there. Yeah, chainmail is not bulletproof. Okay, then you got a coil. And there's nothing to it but just clipping your rings. Shh. 
Shark proof. Now that's a viable, that's a viable question right there. That I, I don't know. They do sell basically the exact same thing for sharks, so maybe. I mean, it is steel. I don't know if those shark ones are made of titanium or not, though. But it's essentially the same thing they make for sharks. Got my 12 again. Those are end snips. E-N-D snips. You can usually find them around the pliers. Am I thinking? Uh, 25-ish years. I'm an old man, 37. Uh, <laughs> but I've only been doing paper clips about 15 or 16. I try. It's a live show. It's my job to entertain y'all, not the other way around. A lot of live shows don't do that. <laughs> the ones where they sit there and say something like, uh, I'm not getting offline until somebody makes me laugh. Oh my God, those drive me nuts. Compared to most people on TikTok, 37 is old. Uh, you got to get 1,000 followers first. Once you get 1,000 followers first, you hit the plus button as if you were going to make a new uh, video, and then scroll to the side, and you'll see a live option. As soon as you hit 1,000, you can do it. Go ahead and connect these threads here. All right, so right now we've got these little flimsy weak threads. So we're going to go ahead and connect those. Going to be whipping this thing around back and forth a little bit. We are making this glove out of these paper clips and bigger rings. Okay, go one, two, three, and four. And like I said before, my most recent video, I use shower curtain rings for tutorials. So if you want to look and see how to make this pattern, you can go watch that one. It's about a minute long. It's a very simple one. There's only, I think, like maybe one pattern easier than this one. Yep, first drop of the night, I was on a roll. Thank you. All right, where we left off. Now, if you really want a slow crafting project to watch, I had to uh, clip a little piece off my belt. So at some point here, I'm gonna have to go back and re-lengthen. Now, that is a much more complicated pattern. Now, to be clear, I broke my belt. 
I needed some Byzantine for another project, and I was too lazy to remake it, so I cut a piece off. <laughs> but now i got to put it back. And it'll be alive for another day. I sell absolutely nothing. I, this comes up at least once per night. So when I started doing stuff out of paper clips, uh, I kept wanting more and more of a challenge. So people would give me ideas for something. Hey, have you made this? Have you tried doing this? Have you tried doing that? And uh, if I liked the idea, I'd make it, and then I would give it to them. So I have given away hundreds of things over the years. Sorry, Becky, I did not see the question. It's probably when I was looking down the chain mail. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I see hay. Scrolling, 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 scrolling. <laughs> okay, I see a please. Okay. Okay, I, I lost the question. But, you know, back when I was giving everything away, though, I didn't have 19,000 followers and didn't know there was that many people interested in art made out of paper clips. So I've been thinking of selling. Not the gloves, though. Just can't do the gloves. I am thinking of doing a chainmail hoodie. There we go, and those two threads are gone, and they're solid. Let's get the other one, and we're almost there. I also do need to go cook dinner here in a minute. I will be back. That pesky dinner always getting in the way. I can name about five. That's about it. Yeah, sports is not my thing. Come on, my guy making stuff out of chain mail. Do you think sports would be my thing? <laughs> uh, I guess it could be, but that'd be a rarity. I can name you about 3,000 Marvel characters, but <laughs> probably only about five NBA players. And most of them probably don't even play anymore. I have no idea. Okay, let's go Kobe Bryant, LeBron James. <laughs> Gotta give you two. <laughs> About the easiest ones there is. It's gonna be the same answer on uh, baseball or football or any of those. Now, I used to play tennis. But I always hated watching other people play sports. I played uh, baseball throughout high school. But I hated watching baseball. What was the question? Apologies if I miss your comment. I do have to look away every now and then to see what I'm hooking into. Three threads are now all connected. Five more rings. I still got this piece on the end, though. When I finally finish this ring, I will, of course, count the rings so I know exactly how many paper clips it took to make it. And by extension, how expensive this is, because these little gold rings are not cheap. I think Magneto would take him down pretty fast.
bit confused about what I might be be confused as well apparently. We are making this glove, but with bigger rings. And the rings are made out of paper clips. Last ring for this section. We're getting there. Got this little tiny cube at the bottom. And I have to fill in this big honking piece, but that's not that much. Let me uh, do a size measurement. Make sure I don't have to make it any longer. All right, we're gonna do just like the other gloves. We're going top of the knuckle to the wrist. It's actually probably a bit too long, but that's okay. We're gonna keep it. So all we gotta do now is go around. <laughs> Hard part's over. Correct, and making the rings out of paper clips is what takes the most time. Okay, definitely got my sizing a lot better today. Oh, I hate to leave on 266 of y'all, but I do have to go eat. <laughs> I will be back probably in, I don't know, 30 minutes, an hour, something like that. I'm just making burgers. It's nothing complicated, but I gotta go cook. I'll be back. Follow me if you haven't already. I do live shows every day. Hey, basically every day. I might miss one here and there. I wasn't here Sunday. I had every other day. And now that I got my lovely shower rings, we do tutorials on how to make this stuff with giant shower rings, so it's easier to follow. You can see my latest video for that one. See you in a bit.